Hello everyone, welcome back. So in our Selenium with Java series, uh, today we are going to see how you can execute the Selenium UI test cases in your Docker. So far we have seen how you can execute them on your local machine where you have the Selenium code base and you have Selenium installed and also the Chrome and the Firefox or any of the browser that you're running, those things you have already pre-installed. But now we are going to see how we can run this test on different Dockers. Now we have already understood why do we need Docker and what are the different benefits and then couple of Docker terminologies. Now we want to implement that into our practical, okay? So for this, the first thing that I need to do is that I need to install the Docker. So you can say docker download into the Google you can search and you can see there is a docker.com where you can install the specific docker uh, docker utility based on whether you are on Mac Windows or Linux operating system. Now you can just click on this one and you can install as usual utility once you install that then what you can do at this moment I am showing that on the uh, Mac operating system, but you can do the same thing when you are on Windows or Linux So first let me try to find it out the docker because I have been installed it is uh, Available for me. So it looks like something like this once you open that uh, Don't worry about all these things when you are on the first time into this docker You might not able to see all these things. These are my pre-downloaded uh, docker images, but yeah, just don't worry about that Okay, so when you open this one, actually it is, you can see the docker is running actually. So as you can see here, the docker desktop is running, means your docker daemon service is running on your system. So you are good to go with anything that you want to do with this docker. Okay, so let's try to see that whether the docker is running or not for me. So for this, I'm going to open the terminal and I will say docker hyphen v and you can see it is showing me the version of the docker daemon service that I have or the docker utility. Fine. Now the second thing that I need to do is that I need to create a container actually docker container where I can run this particular test case. Okay. So for this as we, uh, as we know we have to actually download the docker images right. So docker images download if you search it will redirect to you to the docker hub which we already discussed in our previous uh, session actually. Now for this what kind of docker we need? Is it like Windows, Mac or Linux or like what has to be the predefined applications in that. So for this let's move on to the Selenium website actually where we can get more details about that. So if you go to this, so this is basically the Docker Selenium uh, what you call project from Selenium HQ that is the official uh, git repo for the Docker Selenium. Now if you scroll down there are a lot of information they have given here. So at this moment we are going to see how the Selenium 4 we can 4 version we can run it by using Docker which is the latest at this moment. Okay so there are a lot of information you can just go one by one and you can read out those things. Yeah, let me just show you one basic uh, what do you call installation steps to run your docker Okay, or the basic steps to run your docker now as you can see it is giving one quick uh, Start guide where you need to start the docker container with the Firefox So at this moment we just uh, what do you call turned on our docker engine only after that what we need to do We need to start a docker container with Firefox or Chrome or Edge browser, right? So what kind of docker? container that I need. So if you come down here you will see something like this. Okay, so there is something called as a standalone and Firefox or standalone with Chrome. You can see here it is giving the details. Selenium with standalone Firefox, Chrome, Edge, like this you can get all the predefined Docker images so that you don't need to build these Docker images and then run it. You can download out of the box and you can utilize them. So first thing is that how do we download this particular standalone Firefox or Chrome? Let me first show you how to download the Docker image. So let me copy this Selenium standalone Chrome and paste it here. 
now you can see the standalone chrome is coming here now it is giving you the different options here like who created this one when does the latest version got created what is the command to download that docker image from this docker hub you can see it is a docker pull so docker pull is a command and you can just you uh, name that particular docker standalone chrome and it will pull or download that if you go to the tax section this is nothing but all the releases of the releases of this standalone chrome so the latest is nothing but your the latest one that is uh, selenium standalone chrome which is running on your 96 version of your chrome browser now let's say that you want to go with the older version of the chrome and then if you go down here you can see all other versions like 95 and if you still scroll down you will get a lot of these paginations are there you can get 94 and all those versions so this is one of the benefit that i was talking while learning the docker fundamentals right so at this moment let me copy this one and then what i'm going to do i'll just open my terminal and irrespective of which location you are just copy paste this one actually so you can say docker pull selenium standalone chrome latest so this will download the latest one for you at this moment i have already downloaded that one how can you see that so if you go to here you will see those things here now it is not yet on the running status i have just pulled that so whenever you use docker pull and any images that you will download those things will be shown in this images as well so here you can see there are all local images i have okay so if you want to just know whether you have this or not what you can do you can just click on this and uh, docker pull and let's see if it is uh, giving you the latest version or not so as you can see the image is up to date because i have already installed it is just trying to update that docker image which i'm trying to pull and it is on the latest so i'm good with that docker image now let's understand what are the different docker images with respect to the selenium we have so let's go to this particular documentation of the selenium actually so there are standalone now what is standalone standalone where it is not a hub and node concept it's not actually a grid concept okay where the standalone is where you don't need a hub in the sense the hub and node is on the same docker container only so that you don't need to have a grid set up there okay so that's why we call it as a standalone there okay now there are something called as a hub and node concept actually here so where you have to download the selenium hub as your hub and then you need to download the uh, what do you call the clients or the nodes now these are the nodes actually now you can see the selenium with node chrome selenium with node edge now you can individually so these are all individual docker containers now these two containers you need to attach or link with your hub so that it will be registered actually with that we will be seeing that in our upcoming sessions but at this moment let's try to understand the standalone containers here so now there are two ways actually where i can use these docker containers to run my test cases one is i can directly run this particular command which will pull if it if you didn't pull those images before it will pull and run the test cases into these containers okay so first and foremost thing is that what i'm going to do i'll copy this entire content and at this moment i'll just say this much only okay still selenium standalone chrome and i will explain you all these things in a moment okay so now let's copy paste this one now let's try to understand what are these things so it is telling docker run docker run but what it is to run so it will run this particular container okay which you have pulled already if you are if you have not pulled this run will automatically pull that container and will run for you now there are something is there so hyphen d and after that it is giving you a port actually so this is actually my container port okay where it is attaching to my current system port actually here so the container port is 4444 which will be linking to my host actually host means the machine where i'm running this particular docker Four, four. so anything that is running on this particular container i can see that by using this 444 as a port 
okay because see any system that your system or devices that you are attaching to your system there has to be a port allocated to that through that port only you can communicate to that device right so now here container is nothing but a kind of device only or another system attached to your system right so that's how the port is essential here what is this shm size this is basically we are giving the system size to give 2g that is uh, 2 gigabytes of uh, memory to this particular container so that uh, it won't run out of memory now let me just run this one and see what happens now you can see there is a id generated for this particular docker okay now to understand whether this docker container is running or not you can run another command that is docker ps okay so before to this running i should have shown to you by using this docker ps where it will show you what and all processes it is running so what docker containers it is running at this moment there is only one container that is running and the port the container id is this one this is again essential because we can use this one to kill our docker or to stop our docker now what image it is running so it is a uh, image is standalone chrome what is that command so it is using some command when it created or when it is running this okay up to what second standard what port it is so you can see so this is the port actually here okay so now let me run this one so this is nothing but my local host right so at this moment what i'm going to do i'll just open this local host 4444 you can see there is one chrome browser okay you can see the chrome browser is there the browser version is 96 the platform is linux i'm using the uh, what you call mac operating system but it is showing linux because the container that i have downloaded or the docker image is a linux uh, operating system on top of linux you have the chrome installed there okay vnc enabled so vnc enabled means the docker container when they have created and uh, created that image that time they have given the support for the vnc i will show you that also in a moment sessions as you can see there are nothing so i have not run any of the what you call task into this container it just i have spun up or i have triggered that container so it is just making it ready actually the platform is ready now let's go to the second part of the story where how do we run our test cases into that container. So at that moment we need to do a couple of changes into this particular test code or to the framework so that it will run onto the container. So for this the first and foremost thing is that I won't be using this one actually. So as you know this web driver manager chrome driver setup is for my local chrome browser right. So where if if I am I have been updated my chrome then it will be handling that. At this moment I am not dealing with any my local chrome browser right. It is the docker images chrome browser. So I will be commenting this one at this moment. I don't need this one. Now driver equal to chrome driver again this is linking to my what you call to the local host actually okay i mean the local system not to the chrome driver of your uh, container right so i will be stopping this one as well or commenting this one then how do we run this one okay so what we need to do we need to use the concept of a desired capabilities and remote web, web driver okay instead of chrome driver we will be utilizing the remote web driver so let me show you that so what you need to do first and foremost thing is that you need to use the capabilities so this is again one of the what you call your selenium capability so you will say cap equal to new desired desired capabilities you can even use the desired capabilities here Oops, sorry so desired capabilities okay now after this what i'm going to do i want to specify what kind of uh, browser i'm running actually so this is nothing but chrome actually here so i will be passing this one if you see this set browser name it asks you a string 
that string is nothing but the name of your browser so that is what you need to specify the second thing that i told you is that instead of chrome driver remote driver right so i will say driver equal to new remote web driver you can see remote web driver this accepts couple of parameters one is i need to specify the url actually that where i am going to run this one now this url is nothing but this is the url which i have got from here okay so that is nothing but my local host to this one actually so i'll specify inside this and wd slash hub actually so this is what i need to specify there is another parameter that i need that is the capabilities because see this capability will determine what kind of system that i am running what kind of uh, configuration that i am running one is actually i am running on to the chrome browser so at this moment the container that i have is dealing with the chrome browser only right so that's why i am not specifying anything even i can specify cap dot set platform actually and here i can specify the so i can say platform dot linux actually i can say so i have to specify what kind of system actually it is doing so because i have only one container running on my system so i don't need to mention this one but if you have multiple docker containers one with windows one with mac another with linux then you have to specify that this chrome with what kind of platform combination that it has to run this test case that is what you need to specify here so many different capabilities are there if you dig down into this cap dot you will come to know more details but at this moment let's focus into this the same thing i can disable this one as well okay i can specify this one for my firefox browser as well so instead of chrome i will say firefox and the everything else will remain as it is and we will be downloading this selenium with firefox standalone firefox with the linux operating system only okay so at this moment because i have the docker container as chrome that's why i will be running this chrome only now my framework updation is done now this is the beauty of designing a good framework where you can just need to specify what are the stuff you are going to change these changes will not impact to your test cases here or the page object that you are mentioning okay you need to keep it isolated that's why i have kept it into the base package so that any configuration to this framework will not alter your actual test case execution okay now fine so my docker is running and then i have the framework ready how to execute this one now to execute this one we have different ways right one is i can run directly from the test ng xml file but think about if you are running it from jenkins now you don't have access to this uh, what do you call this intellij editor right i'll show you how to how you can really use that so jenkins or adio pipeline need some kind of command line uh, instructions right that is what i'm going to show you so i will open the internal termi uh, terminal of this intellij but you can go to your command prompt or terminal and you can go to this project folder where your framework is there and after that you just need to do maven test okay so once you do this one what will happen so this maven test first go to the pom.xml and will find it out if there is any testng.xml is mentioned or not so if you see here there is no testng.xml here um, let's see that okay so as you can see this is my testng.xml but what i can do i can just enable this configuration so that it will run the specific testng.xml there okay so let me run this particular test case so before doing that let me do one small change in here where i want to run this particular test case for some time so that you can see the what is actually happening so i'll just say this thread dot sleep and i'll give let's say 10 seconds okay okay so now let me run this maven test and let's go to this one where you run this one and wait for some time and as you can see that it is now running on this particular machine and if you click on this and the password is a secret actually so which you, the selenium provided now as you can see 
you can uh, you would have seen that the test cases was running actually and it was uh, like very quickly it went if i give 20 seconds give actually 30 seconds here so that you can see what is actually happening inside so let me run maven test and go here and refresh this one where you will be seeing something will be running now see let's keep refreshing yeah you can see now if you click on this you can give the secret as a password and you can see what is actually going on inside this particular container so this is nothing but the vnc viewer okay and the secret the password which i have given that is actually provided from the selenium itself i will show you that in a moment okay so there there are actually a couple of ways that you can see that one is from this session itself you can see that vnc viewer or what you can do you can even assign a port to this container actually so for this let me first stop this particular docker actually and then we will be assigning another one so for this actually we need the id actually the docker id that is currently running on this one after that what we can do so we can say docker stop and then we have to specify this container id actually so i'll just say like this and i will say like this and wait for some time where it will stop that docker and if you now run the docker ps you can see there is nothing is running now if i want to run this so instead of running like this i will be assigning another port and that is hyphen p and i will assign 7900 that is the port that the selenium has uh, assigned for the vnc so everything is configured in that uh, image actually so you don't really need to do anything now let me run this one and you can see now the docker is running how do you see that docker ps and you can see everything is here it is coming now at this moment before i will run that i will just try to use that 7900 so this is as you can see that because that docker is running on the 7990 port for the vnc i will be keep connecting and for this the password is secret and then send credential now there is nothing is running onto this docker now i will run this maven test and let's keep observing these two things here and now as you can see what is exactly going on into your docker container everything you can see this and you can see both of these things are happening simultaneously so all the test cases that i have mentioned in the test ng xml will be running inside this container where you are viewing that by using the vnc okay so that's the beauty of this docker containers actually so here we have seen this one for the what do you call for your chrome browser right now we can do the same thing for the firefox as well i will be running the firefox one at this moment so let me run this and as you can see now it has been created how do you see that so you can see docker ps and you can see this time it is giving you the firefox one how do I run this one? So I have already specified into this base test all these things, right? If it is Chrome, this will pick up this one. If it is Firefox, this will be picking up. And I have mentioned one, this system.get property, right? If you would have seen my initial sessions of the framework designing, I am passing this browser value, browser name from the command itself only, command prompt itself. In the sense, if I go to this terminal, so instead of maven test only i will say d browser equal to firefox okay if i run this one then all of my test cases will be running in firefox browser now this firefox browser is not local to me but into this docker container actually there so for this what i'm going to do i'll keep connecting this particular container okay so let it be here now if you refresh this one this time you should be seeing firefox actually instead of chrome okay fine now let's run this one and open my chrome browser i mean this particular vnc where you should see that this should be running into the firefox you can see this is a firefox browser now you can see the layout is a bit different for the firefox and as you can see if i go to this session as well you will see the firefox instance before you were seeing chrome with 96 now firefox with 94 
and everything is executed so th this is one of the way where you can run this one right there is another way actually also you can run it by using your docker compose which we will be seeing in our upcoming sessions so stay tuned and do subscribe to this youtube channel thank you for watching